okay, let's say now you don't have uh, Excel sheet, okay, and you want to, you know, get the PW using uh, formulas. Okay, let's say you want to use your calculator. You don't have the table. You don't have factor notation. What should I, What should you do? Okay, it's pretty simple. Basically, what you have to do is go back, you know, to the formulas. Every factor notation okay it can be uh, represented as a formula just be careful for the you know the factor this is the p the f the p the f so the formula does not replace everything it only replaces you know the factor notation so uh, if i take a look at this one plus i to the power n basically it's replacing p to f i n so there is also P to be multiplied later on, okay? Uh, for A, okay, if I want to get, uh, you know, A transferred to P, okay? Uh, you can use uh, the factor notation. You can use Excel sheet. But let's say you don't have uh, that handy because, you know, it's uh, an exam. You have to solve it by hand, whatever the case is, and the table is not given to you. So I go back to the formula. I say, okay, this factor notation A to P, uh, it can be transferred to uh, a formula, okay, or represented by a formula. It's 1 plus I to the power N minus 1. All of this is divided by this, okay? So that's what we are trying to do. We have here a question, uh, $20,000 present worth. We have annual, which is A, 9000 per year. And we have $5,000, the future value or salvage value. Period is given for us is five years, and the MAR or interest rate is 12%. It is very handy to put it in a table like this, okay? I will show you why in a second. Bec you know, because uh, let's say, you know, you are solving another uh, question, and but different uh, numbers. Okay, you just change the numbers here. You don't have to go and get the numbers back. So using this table, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go put my fa formula together. Based on the question, I can see here they are looking for P, uh, they are looking for PW, okay? So this PW, uh, I want to see how much is it. I want to get the value because I'm going to use it later on as you know, for, uh, you know, PW analysis, which we are not doing now. So that's why I picked only alternative X. I did not discuss or mention, uh, you know, alternative Y. So I want to get the PW of this uh, alternative. How I'm going to do that? Typically, uh, PW, if I want to use it, you have to convert all these costs you have uh, to uh, P domain. So all the payments now you are paying for every year, for how long? Five years. You have to convert them or find the equivalence of them at year zero, which is P. Okay, P at year zero. Uh, same thing with the salvage value. So you have to transfer it from five years, how much that money worth it now. Okay, usually we used to do it using this factor notation. You transfer A to P. Give me the interest, give me the period, I'm all set. I go to the table or use Excel sheet function, I'm all set. Same thing with F, you know, give me uh, I and I can transfer it from F to P. Now we don't have this, so I'm going to use a formula. Okay, uh, initial cost plus converted value from A to P plus converted value from F to P. This is the normal way to find the PW. Okay, now I want to use it with formulas. Okay, $20,000, it's already present, so I don't have to bother with because I am getting everything in present. Uh, A, those $9,000 every year, I have to get the equivalence of them into P domain, okay? What's the value, what's the worth of this money now, okay? So uh, A, in order to take it to P, okay, domain, then I use this formula. 1 plus I to the power N minus 1 and all divided by the following. Okay, so this is the formula. How I'm going to write this in Excel sheet? Oh, well, it, you have to do it once, 
but that's it you don't have to keep doing it why because as i said we are using indirect you know values how rather than using you know one plus i which is a 12 i use one plus one plus i okay and i is what c 18 okay to the power n which is what c okay 19 okay minus one all divided by you know following the formula okay i made my formula okay i made my formula so this is done what about factor notation for the uh, f to p same thing based on the formula okay if i want to transfer it from f to p domain so i have f multiplied by one plus i to the power negative n or you can you know from algebra you know it's f divided by one plus i to the power n and that's what i did f divided by one plus i to the power n also you look at it okay we can do it together if you want so this is a good example so let's say i want to get uh, create a formula to transfer it from okay f okay to p a domain okay let's put the formula here so we can see it so let's build the formula based on this so i put equal okay and first of all we have to find to get f where is f okay this is f then i do the multiplication okay i'm sorry uh, f is divided so i put the division okay open the bracket one plus i to the power n okay so i say one plus i what's i i is the interest rate the mar okay to the power this is the way how to write to the power okay uh, n n is here okay i'm all set there you go as simple as that so that's what i got here okay the advantage of this why i'm using this indirect way because let's say they change uh let's let's say they change the future value they told you oh we are sorry it's 15 or you get another question here you go it changed right away oh you know go back okay we can go back so this is this is the way this is this way is an easy way okay follow us uh, subscribe so you can get uh, more information about that and hopefully it is uh, benefit